Hi, and uh, welcome back to the CodeMaven uh, screencast. My name is Gabor, as usual. And um, in this, this mini-series, we are going to look at uh, deployment of a web application in the cloud, specifically in the DigitalOcean uh, cloud. Um, you, here on, the, on this first slide, you can see the link to the CodeMaven website, and here are the slides that uh, I'm going to use. If you're watching this um, while on YouTube, or then uh, hopefully uh, underneath the, the the video you will find a link to the to the website to the specific page where the where, where the links are, are going to be found where I'm going to update the links. So now I'm visiting the, the slide, and um, the slides are always free around there. And here we go ahead. And first we'll talk a little bit about the plan of this uh, mini series. It's really not not very long. Uh, the first, we are going to over a little bit introduction about uh, DigitalOcean. You will get uh, registered to the Dig DigitalOcean. Then uh, we are going to set up a local development environment for uh, writing web applications using Python Flask. We don't uh, we look at the we, we look at actually the source code a little bit, but uh, that's not our main our main focus. Our main focus is then to create a, a digital ocean droplet, which is just their name for a virtual private server, which is basically just a Linux machine that you have um, with root access. It can be really small and really cheap, and it's really fun to, to have them. And uh, once we have set up such a, such a server, we set up on, the, on Python on the droplet, we set up uh, Nginx web server on the droplet, and we up, uh, install basically or, or set up the application so you can use the uh, application on the web server and then once you have this whole uh, uh, pass the whole thing then you can keep uh, developing your, your code your um, web application and you know how to deploy it already so that's a good thing so let's first of all first of all let's see what is digital ocean so it's a well let me link let me let, visit the link it's a cloud provider or a VPS provider or whatever you'd like to call. It's not as huge as the, the Google Cloud or the AWS or uh, Microsoft um, Azure, uh, but I really like it, uh, probably especially because it's uh, not that big. So it's a, a little bit more human uh, to work with them. And I think it's way more cheaper to, to get a, an instance on them. They don't have all the services that the, the big, big uh, players provide, but I think uh, for most of our needs, uh, they are quite good. So, I've been using them for, I don't know, five years at least? I don't know how long. Long, long time. Um, more or less soon after they started to use. So, this is the website. Uh, you can look at there. They have all kinds of products, so droplets. This is what we're going to look at. Uh, they also uh, support Kubernetes. They support uh, uh, out of the box databases so you don't have to handle your own databases spaces if i'm not uh, mistaken that's basically the s3 so it's like uh, file storage uh, somewhere in the cloud um, so they have all, all, all kind of this and they have net networking services so it's, it's quite nice in the marketplace you can find all kind of uh, uh, um, Applications, basically, some people created applications, already uh, packaged them as a, as a droplet, so you don't have to yourself uh, install everything and, uh, and do uh, manage it. Um, basically, that, that's, uh, you can get it from already installed. So that's, uh, that's a nice thing. And, and if you look at the pricing, uh, what I like is that, well, where are the prices? So here are the prices. So you can get... Uh, a really, really small one gigabyte memory VPS, uh, which has a 25 gigabyte disk for $5 a month. But if you're just playing with it, then you can actually pay it for, uh, I think it's a little bit less than one cent an hour. So you, you turn on a machine, uh, install stuff, play with it, learn how to use it. And then if you don't really want to run it, you can shut it down and that's it. You didn't pay, just paid a few cents. And even five dollars per month, it's uh, not that much m uh, money for most of us uh, who are dealing with uh, computers. Uh, I hope so, at least. So it's a uh, it's a nice thing to to have and to to be able to play with it. So that's that's about DigitalOcean. Uh, they uh, also support open source quite nicely. They have the Hacktoberfest. 
uh, which is of course uh, only in October, so it's not re relevant for you. Uh, for a couple of years now, they have been uh, um, running this, uh, and then it's basically uh, trying to get people more t people to contribute to open source projects. And so look around it in in getting uh, ready to uh, when when it's October. Okay, look around it, and you'll see that. Um, I think it's uh, like five commit. You, you have to send in five uh, pull requests to open source projects, and then you get a T-shirt. So it's not not like you win a huge thing, but I have a couple of these T-shirts, and I like them. So uh, that's one another thing. And I have also have a link here just to show you that there is, they have this status page, not like where anything special, but uh, just uh, see what's going on. You can see actually the regions they have. So it's pretty nice. Yeah, but I'm not marketing them, okay, so don't worry. Well, maybe a little bit, okay, so uh, the first thing you'll have to do is register on, on DigitalOcean, so click on this link um, on the slides, I'll also put it on the uh, website, and you register, and yes, it, uh, if you look at it, there is a reference code in it, and both you and I get some credit if you register there, and if you stay there for a long time, so I think you this this time you get about a hundred dollar credit you can use. So it's a, it's not bad. And uh, I haven't paid to DigitalOcean since I don't know I started. Maybe the first time I paid a little bit, but since then it's uh, mostly people who uh, come and other people who fall in love with DigitalOcean and start using it. And then after a while I get uh, a little bit of credit, so I don't have to. Uh, pay for my uh, uh, droplets. So that's it about uh, now, and then we are going to go on with the local installation in the next video. Since uh, till then, please do the registration and uh, comment uh, underneath and uh, follow me and whatever not. Okay, so bye bye.